Well, howdy folks. Just wanted to put together a little video showing how I optimize my image quality on my Pulsar thermal scopes. Um, every time I go out, the environment changes and I'm as guilty as many other people of leaving your settings basically the same. And what happens is, is you end up, even though you adjust brightness and contrast, you'll have an image like this. Uh, you can't really even tell if this hog is facing towards you or away from you and what you might think is going to be a good shot ends up being an extremely poor shot and you have to try to recover an animal on the run. Uh, here's another example. I, I adjusted brightness and contrast absolutely as best as I could for the environment but this hog is basically washed out. I was very fortunate, managed to put a decent shot on him and of course recovered that animal. It only takes five steps in about 30 seconds of your time in order to make the adjustments necessary to really get the image to pop and see some definition in the animal. So here's an optimized image. Uh, after I have everything set up, you can actually see the hair on that hog as he's walking by. Uh, makes for a lot better target identification. Here's another example right here. Uh, no problem telling which side is the head and which side is the tail. And the result is I don't have to try to shoot a running hog that's wounded over cattle, which would be incredibly dangerous and I wouldn't do it. So here's the mandatory safety warning that is going to go along with this. Uh, you're going to have a weapon, you're going to be out in the field, and you're going to use it on live animals. So make sure that your weapon's on safe and your finger is off the trigger at all times. Uh, you don't want to have to explain to some rancher why you ended up shooting his animal. Uh, the next step you're going to have is you're going to need to nuke your optic. Step two is focus on a living object. And then you're going to adjust your mode first in step three. And after you have your mode selected, then you're going to adjust your brightness. And then you're going to adjust your contrast. And that's how we end up doing it. Here's a little example I put together as a doe and a fawn. Uh, I have no idea how far they, away, are, they are away. Maybe 75 yards or so. So I nuked and then I focused. Yes, there's a couple of bucks over there. No, for those of you who think that you're going to poach anything, you can't see them once they shed their velvet. Uh, so step three is adjust the mode. So I went from being a washed out image that you see here, all of a sudden, bam, I've got a little bit of definition to them. So that's good. I'm going to adjust my brightness. And we're going to scroll up a little bit, maybe scroll down a little bit, see which one makes it pop the most. I think I'm good. Now I'm adjusting my contrast and I've got about as good as an image as I'm going to have. You can really tell that that is head from tail and you can actually see some definition of the neck as the doe is facing. A little bit more just to finish off and there's the first example. So here you are, you know, you want to use black hot. It works the exact same way. Here's the first step. I nuked the scope. Now I'm focusing. Uh, once I'm focused here as best as I can tell. Then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the mode again. And that seems to bring everything in the sharpest detail over here on Black Hot. So now I'm going to adjust my brightness. It's not quite uh, as coarse in adjustments. Everything seems to be a little bit more fine when you're on Black Hot. So you may have to fiddle with it a little bit more or less if you're experienced with doing this. I'm just going back and forth to what I think is good for me. I rarely use black hot. Once I'm good on my brightness, now I'm going to adjust my contrast so I can see the animals as well as I can. And I'm very content there. Definitely better than the way it was to begin with. Here's the same animals. I'm just going back to white hot. One last example. I've already nuked and I've already adjusted the focus. So here I am adjusting the mode. All of a sudden I can see the animals in detail again. And now I'm going to adjust my brightness and my contrasts in order to get the best image possible before I start my hunt and looking for feral hogs. So here's step five. At this point, I'm pretty content on how everything is. So I'm going to turn the recorder off. I'm going to go look for some hogs to kill. And that's it. Thank you for stopping by, taking your time. I hope you learned something from this and you have a wonderful day.